Hello, Whiskey Burners! Here we are in the village of Clannacinty on Ireland's south coast. Where local farmer Michael Scully bought a vacant building and turned it into a distillery. It used to be a bank, now it stores liquid gold. Ah, here's our host for the afternoon, Visitor Centre Manager Ewan. Let's see what he has to say. You mean spirit at the moment is sitting around 79 80%. Middle ones, new main spirit of the spirit still, and the right ones heads and tails. So yeah, new main at around 7980. That will go up to the warehouse, and it's at that point they dilute it with water from the well, and it's only at that point that the water isn't treated. Yeah, from the Scully Farm. Now it's also well water that we use when we're cutting whiskey to put in bottles. But it's reverse osmosis, well water. The only reason it's well water is because there's no other water up at the farm. So it's not so it does form part of the story. Uh, so we have a 15 year old single bottle in bottles and the rest are blends of They have a gin school too. Aren't those just the cutest little pot stills you've ever seen? I wish I had one. Wouldn't make gin in it then. Here's the man himself, owner Michael Scully. He comes along and joins us for a dram in the tasting room. And I get to ask him uh, a question. Can I ask you a personal question? Why did you open this thing? <laughs> Ben's a writer. Just all right, okay, okay, okay. Ben broke whiskey one, well, that's the... Yeah, yeah, all right, okay, okay. Traveling. Uh, I, I did a lot of travelling in a previous life and I, and I got sick of living in airports and spending my life in airplanes and I wanted to, I decided to come home and open a, open a business closer to home where I could actually still still do the travelling and do something like that but, but not and spend my life in airports and, uh, and we looked at the farm and uh, we were a dairy farm when I started off looking at doing something with the milk and we tried to make half a lot of milk but not an Irish cream, we weren't interested in doing an Irish cream but it got me, but I wanted to do something like, you know, we've got, an, we've got an amazing farm and all that sort of stuff and I wanted to do something that would give us an opportunity to, um, that's the word for you, know, just to showcase the very best that we have of our land and all that sort of stuff yeah. and as I, as the whole thought process went on then eventually um, we sort of struck on this key that it's a, you know, it's a good business and that was the answer. If I was back again, no, I, I still would. But if I knew six years ago and I was involved to get the year, I was <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a good book in there. There's a good book in there. My trip to Clonakilty has serendipitously coincided with a visit from the Irish Whiskey Society. They're here to buy a cask. So we all finish up at the Scully Farm to see what he has to offer. <laughs> 